Hi all, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how step functions work. So let's start. So what is a step function? A step function is used to coordinate the components of distributed applications and microservices using visual workflows. So the visual workflow will look something like this. If you have a business process which you want to automate, which has multiple steps, for example, you need to validate an account data and that process will be automated using a Lambda function. And once you have already got the answer to that, you can check in your choice state, which is part of your step function. You can check if that account is valid or not. If it is valid, it has to follow the left side set of processes. You have to update something in your DynamoDB table. Then you have to inform people using your SNS notification process, etc. But if the account is not valid, you can notify the corresponding user. You don't need to update anything in the DynamoDB table. So, step function is a way of building an integrated application from individual components that each perform a discrete function. So, the biggest advantage here is that when you are building this integrated application, you don't need to write the integration code. You can leave that to step function. You start a step function and then add the steps and you tell step function that you will use which AWS service to implement that particular step. For example, this first step is implemented using Lambda. This step is implemented using DynamoDB. So that is how the step function is created. These are some of the important use cases. One is automate ETL or extract transform load processes in data management, orchestrate microservices and create an integrated application, automate the DevOps CACD pipeline or automate the security and IT functions and orchestrate large-scale parallel workloads. So basically, wherever there is a series of tasks to be performed, one after the other, or in some cases, some parallel tasks are also included, you can use step function to orchestrate those set of tasks. Step function is actually a state machine, and each step is called a state. We just now saw that there are multiple steps in that step function, and each step is called a state. And the states and their transitions are defined using a language called Amazon States language, which is actually JSON based. And we are going to write a program in Amazon States language as part of this exercise. The main advantage of step function is that you don't need to spend time and energy and effort in writing the integration code for integrating the multiple services, which you are going to use in your application. You can decouple the application workflow logic from the business logic, which actually enables quick solution development. Okay, so with that, let us actually create a very simple step function and then see how it works. Okay, right now we are in step functions management console. So here you have to click on state machines and then you have to create a state machine. Click on that. And you have some templates available, but we are not going to use any template. Let us build it from scratch. You can choose the default one blank. Select. And here you can design it graphically like this. You have the starting point here. I can add a Lambda function here and then I can include the details of that Lambda function here. So that is one way of building that. But right now what I have done is I have already prepared the code for this state function. So I will directly update the code. Otherwise, you'll have to do it one by one, step by step. You have to add, say for example, another step, maybe SNS notification. And then you have to, on the right side, you have to give the details of that particular SNS topic, etc. So that way, graphically, you can build this workflow. But right now, we are going to build it directly in code. So let me cancel this first and then create state machine, blank, select, go to code. So there is some dummy code here. Let me remove everything and then I'm going to paste my code. Okay, so when I pasted my code corresponding to that, it has actually prepared the graphics related to that. So let me just try to explain what the code is doing. So this is for selecting students for a particular course. The eligibility criteria is that the student should have got minimum 70 marks in physics or maths. So here you are starting at a stage here. It doesn't really do any activity. It just pass some input to the output, that's all. And then it comes to a choice state where it actually checks whether this person has entered the mark of physics or maths. We'll see in the code how it is implemented. 
if it is physics it comes here and it pass on the control to the next state here also the same thing and here in this state what it does is it checks the marks whether it is greater than 70 or not so you can see that here if it is greater than 70 it uses a an sns topic to send a success notification if it is less than 70 or by default it will send a reject notification message through the same sns topic and finally it comes to another state end state and the workflow ends so we'll see how it actually works and we will have to provide the input the subject name whether it is physics or maths and the marks that also we'll have to input when we trigger this step function if you come to the left side first one is just a comment and then it says start at start here start here is the name of the first step so here you can see that is the name of the first step or first state so here it starts with the keyword states and then we have included all the states or all the steps of this step function the first one is start here and the type is pass which means it doesn't do any task it just gets the input and pass the output to the next step it just passes the control to subject choice next state so subject choice that is a choice type and here you have a variable called subject and we are checking if that string is equal to physics right if it is equal to physics then go to the next step which is called physics otherwise if it is equal to mass then go to the next step called maths and if doesn't belong to any of these then go to a step called rejected we'll see what it does okay so in this step physics it just says okay now you go to check marks another step and marks also same thing so we can further simplify this particular step function but right now our aim is to learn something from this process so i haven't optimized it so physics and marks they are doing the same thing and then it goes to check marks in check marks it checks okay this is the input which we are entering whether that value whether it is greater than 70 or not if it is greater than 70 go to notify success if it is not then rejected go to rejected in case of notify success you can see that it is actually sending some message to this particular sns topic we'll see okay what is that message and in case of rejected that means you are not selected for the course then also you are sending another message here it is fail message here it is success message it is sending it through the same topic so here i have to make some correction because it, it has to be user then end state says okay this is the end state so here the step function is actually ending its execution so now let's save this click on create confirm you can see that the state machine has been created it ends with this value txi so now you can start the execution so when you start the execution you will have to give some inputs so i will show you in which format you will have to give the input click on start execution so it is asking for you to input there were four variables which i have used in my step function so i have to give the value for each of these in this format so subject i am entering marks marks 76 and success message hello you are selected and fail message hello you did not meet the criteria that's all now we can just start the execution and then see how it goes so execution has started just come down let us make it big so you can see the first stage start then start here subject choice it was marks which i selected right and then it goes to check marks and because the mark was 76 which is more than 70 notify success and it is going to end state so as part of notify success it would have sent a mail to my temporary email id let me go and check yeah here the message has come which says hello you are selected right it came 43 seconds ago now let us try with a failure case so let me go back and uh, let me execute it once again but this time i will choose physics instead of maths and i will choose mark which is less than 70. so let me see how it works new execution so here i'm going to say physics physics and here i will choose 34. so let us see how it executes okay now if you come down so there was an error basically when it actually went to physics it went to rejected and there was an error with the sns notification sns topic which i had added so let me correct that so how do i correct it edit the state machine go to code and come down so basically it says this topic is wrong actually what is wrong is here when i changed it from something else there was a word s3 remaining there so i have removed that now save it and execute it again execute 
so this time again i will go with physics and uh, less than 75 physics less than 75 sorry less than 75 67 okay let us see i should get a message saying that hello you did not meet the criteria start execution come down see here you can see that start here okay that step was okay subject choice physics and then check marks and then it says rejected so i would have got a message saying that you have been rejected yeah so you can see that here hello you did not meet the criteria try next time so that has happened now before we close so come down here you can actually see in the state view each of the state it has succeeded and uh, the timeline you can see that this rejected this one has taken maximum duration you can see that that is because it has to publish the message through sns and if you look at even view it will actually tell you i mean the time stamp plus what was the order in which each of these actually got executed okay so this was a simple step function i will include the link to my cheat sheet in the video description i'll also include some useful aws documentation links from where you can get several such examples which you can actually execute so basically aws step function helps in integrating multiple aws services together to achieve automation of a distributed process and the biggest advantage is that you don't need to write the integration code that integration part will be taken care by aws step function it will also do retries if the first attempt fails it can also do logging it can also do error management so that way step function is a very useful aws service especially when you are dealing with microservices so with that i will close this video i'll be back with more such useful videos please consider subscribing to my channel thank you bye